everyone in the quiet, no exit, Central Street, this is it, on a big, private site of 610 square meter, the solidly built, four bedroom home with four large insights offers a brilliant solution to city living. A prime location puts you so close to all the best facilities. Your children are guaranteed entry to top public schools, Auckland Grammar. Epsom Girls Grammar, and Auckland Normal Intermediate. The home faces north for sun and the light. Spacious living areas featuring beautiful timber floors extend outdoors both front and back. Entertainers will appreciate the big modern kitchen where there is plenty of storage in the sweeping deck for the rear for easy alfresco dining in summer. There is a double internal garage with internal access and the property is fully fenced with an electronic gate so it is brilliant for young children and pets. Future-proof your family's well-being in a home tailor-made for you. Um, so just to give you an idea, that home sold for about 1.6 million. Um, and sorry, it has sold. But Harry also has a, uh, a folder with a lot of properties in Auckland that he can show you that uh, they're actually properties that are currently for sale. Um, this is another one that we've got in a, in a very similar area, uh, very close to the CBD. Uh, it's a lovely older five bedroom home, but the unique feature of this one, it actually has behind it a fully registered and, and operating kindergarten or, or childcare centre that uh, is on a lease and pays an income of just over $40,000 per annum. So this is again in the sort of mid 1.5 range. Um, I should really talk about apartments um, because a lot of people invest and uh, live in apartments. Um, in the, within the Auckland CBD there's about 15,000 apartments. Um, Auckland, uh, the Auckland Council has recently created what they call an MUL, a Metropolitan Urban Limits around Auckland. So they've really put a, a line around Auckland and said, we don't want you to develop outside that area uh, in the near future. So you'll, if you're outside the MUL as they call it, it'll be difficult to get your land rezoned uh, from probably rural uh, or lifestyle to residential. And what they're trying to do is intensify the development within the MUL so that we're going to see a lot more apartments and a lot more medium density terraced houses being built uh, within the MUL. And under the new unitary plan, they have actually designated areas uh, where this will happen. Um, Kiwis have not been huge apartment buyers in the past uh, because they have been able to buy the typical 600 square meter section with a with a house on for the same price as an apartment. But that is changing and we're also seeing now that a lot of uh, younger couples are seeing that their first home is probably going to be an apartment. Um, I just thought, here's another one we'll just show you. Uh, Harry's playing the piano in this one, so it's a, a, a little bit different. But this is a two bedroom unit right in the CBD. Uh, and this is about five hundred thousand New Zealand dollars.
noticed on there, that, that apartment, although it's only two bedrooms, is 88 square metres. So they need to be fairly big to accommodate people like me. But you know, that, that's quite a sizeable apartment in, um, in Auckland. And um, you know, that's uh, typical of the type of property you get. Um, commercial and industrial. I'm just going to put a couple of examples up here for you because uh, what we found is um, some people prefer to invest in property uh, rather than uh, in a, some might call a more secure or more passive type investment. And he's smiling at me. Um, but um, you know, we, uh, some, of, some of these investments are long term leases. Uh, the first one I'll put up, this is actually a, a, a motel or tourist accommodation in Rotorua, which is our strongest um, tourist location. And that returns uh, about $350,000 a year, and you could probably purchase that for about $4 million. Uh, here's another little uh, restaurant in a very popular suburban location, about 15 minutes from the um, Auckland CBD. And uh, again, that returns about $200,000 per annum. So just to, to give you a bit of an overview of it, um, we uh, look at the vacancy rates as to how well the uh, market is performing. Uh, industrially, uh, at the moment, uh, the vacancy rates are dropping very, very quickly. Uh, business is booming, and there's not a lot of new uh, industrial being built. Um, offices. It seem, might seem a little bit high at 11.3%, but we have no A-grade office space available. That's all B and C-grade office space. Uh, and retail, the, is, is, uh, the vacancy rates are reasonably flat uh, at 3.1%. So what sort of yields do you get if you purchase a property? We're, we're, the market's saying to us, um, re realistically in industrial, you're seven and a half to eight percent. I think 8.5 uh, is probably a little bit high there. In offices, you're at seven to eight percent, and in retail, you're sort of six to seven percent. But that's a net return and doesn't, of course, take into account any capital growth. Um, business sales, uh, some people are looking at uh, the um, business uh, migrant visa. Uh, Bailey's do have a business sales division, and we do sell businesses between uh, sort of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars upwards of ten million dollars. Um, we have a very good little manufacturing business for sale uh, at the moment, which is a plastic manufacturer that manufacture their own range of plastic products, and that is around the uh, three million dollar mark. Um, rural, Jason's already mentioned, you know, farming still drives the New Zealand economy um, and Fonterra, our major milk producer, it just had its biggest payout in 2013-14. Um, so rural property is very keenly sought after, not only as businesses but also from a lifestyle point of view. Um, and you know, a lot of people like the idea of being able to live on the farm and some of those are very, very close to the major centres. Um, I thought I should just put up um, this one. It, it uh, is about 600 hectares, um, only an hour south of Auckland. So, you know, you're very, very close to, uh, to a major city. And that's around six, six and a half million dollars. That's just a dry stock farm. Uh, here's a lifestyle block. So this is realistically, you're going to make a little bit of money off this. It's probably going to pay some expenses, but it's not going to be a viable business. But this is about 45 minutes from Auckland Airport. Uh, it's 40 hectares. It's got a five bedroom brick and tile home. Um, and it's about $1.2 million. So you know, it's not a lot of money. And there's still very, very good country schools and and facilities uh, very close by. Um, so what can Bailey's do for you? Uh, well, we've got 70 offices throughout New Zealand and, and over a thousand employees. Um, as I've already said, Harry's got a list of properties that have a sale. I'll give you an idea of, of what's available in the Auckland area. Um, and on your table are a number of magazines that cover residential, commercial and industrial uh, and um, um, country. 
Sorry? Rural. Uh, and residential. Sorry? Um, but, and there's also an investment New Zealand magazine there which has the dark cover. And that, uh, in the front of it, has a lot of information about uh, the economy, about uh, some of the interest rates, and um, you might find that interesting to read. Um, so Harry and I are both here. If uh, we can answer any questions you may have, we'd uh, be very happy to answer them uh, either tonight or, or tomorrow. So thank you very much indeed.